Welcome back to Ryan Knows Tech here today on Monday, the 17th day of September 2012. It's been three or four days since the iPhone 5 pre-orders started. They started at 12.01 in the morning Pacific Coast time here on the East Coast, 3.01 a.m. If many of you, like I did, stayed up last year until 3 in the morning to order the iPhone 4S, you understand what a freaking disaster that can be. Apple's online store didn't even go live until about 3.30 Eastern or 1230 Pacific. Um, so a lot of people were ordering through one of the three car carriers. Uh, those three carriers being, of course, Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. I actually completed my order at about 3.20, 3.30 in the morning using the Apple Store uh, app available for iOS. The store wasn't up, but the app worked. It was really slow. You know, there's five or six steps to the whole checkout to the Place Now button. And, uh, you know, the first time you'd get to step three and then step five, and finally you'd get through all five or six or however many there are steps. So I did get mine pre-ordered. Uh, along with about a million, actually two million other people, I think I read here on Mac Rumors the other day, that uh, they sold over two million in the first 24 hours. That's twice the record of the iPhone 4S a year ago. So they're already selling an amazing amount of these. They actually sold out in the first hour of being online. So four o'clock in the morning, they sold out. And the delivery dates, instead of being the available day one date, which is the 21st, this upcoming rapidly approaching Friday, uh, they're now, I think, two to three, four weeks out there. So hopefully you were one of the lucky ones to be able to get in the store, whether that's AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, Apple's online store, the App Store, whatever you did, hopefully that worked to order your iPhone 5. They're available in black and white, 16 through 64 gigabytes, including a 32 gig on all three carriers. So that is good. Looking at some other Apple news today, stock, nearly $700 a share. It went up about eight and a half points today. It is pennies under $700. So tomorrow, it may hit the big 700, which is incredible because I've been watching Apple stock now since my Windows Vista days back in maybe 2007 and eight. And I remember it hitting $150, $200, and now we're three to four times that, which is amazing. iPhone 5 sales are projected to go through 8 million units by launch weekend, which is, of course, this approaching weekend, which is really, really, really amazing. The iPhone 4, 600,000 in 24 hours. The iPhone 4S, a million, and now the iPhone 5 to 2 million. So they're exponentially doubling their growth, which is incredible. And I wish they had the, the data for the iPhone, the 3G, and the 3GS. I don't think they offered pre-orders on those products. Um, but it's literally breathtaking. Uh, so Wednesday is two days from now, maybe today when you're watching the video, iOS 6 is going to be available. It should be available for over-the-air update on uh, iOS 5 devices. If you're coming from iOS 4, I don't know why you haven't updated to 5. Maybe you, your device doesn't support it. But iPhone, or iOS 6 brings a lot of the features, actually I believe all of the features, that the iPhone 5 will have to the 4S. So keep that in mind if you're still on the fence of upgrading. It's going to be purely hardware. You're not going to lose any functionality uh, aside from maybe some performance aspects in terms of speed brought by the iPhone 5 hardware. But if you do update your 4S or even your 4 to iOS 6, you're going to have the same features and functionality as the iPhone 5. So you may not want to go out and blow a grand on it if, you're, if your two-year contract with your provider isn't up yet. Uh, luckily, I was able to use somebody else uh, on, my, on my contract had uh, they were eligible for the upgrade, so I'm using their plan, and then I'm going to have to go into the store on Friday and try to switch it around, which could be a disaster. I don't know what that's going to look like. Uh, but if you're still thinking about buying a phone, think of places like Best Buy and Radio Shack, probably not Walmart at this point. But keep in mind that they get the same products. People just don't think of that. They think of going to the AT&T store, going to the Apple store, and all of those places will have lines to, to Omaha, Nebraska. If you're from there, then leave me a comment. But anyways, I just wanted to throw this video up with some information about the iPhone 5 pre-orders. Yes, I did pre-order one. Stay tuned for the unboxing. I'll tell you the color and the specs when it gets here. On Friday, I should be able to get that video up. I'm actually not having it sent to my house. I'm going to college close to my folks' house, so I'm going to go pick it up from them, have it sent there, and then take it into the store to have it uh, put on my number and, and cell plan. So uh, that is the update. The iPhone 5, the biggest thing to happen to iPhone since iPhone. Check it out. Tech Inform. My Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz, and I'll talk to you guys in an iPhone 5 unboxing in just less than a week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.